Guys, we're going to have a, just a quick slight delay here because the doctor is not cage side. So we can't start this fight until the doctor is cage side. Um, once the doctor comes back, we'll get this party started. Jack Goyo pacing like a caged animal. Steven Avales stretching out. Ladies and gentlemen, as of now, the doctor is working on someone in the back. We'll get this fight going here as soon as we can. We have to wait for the doctor to be cage side. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Steven Aviles. So Steven Aviles says, his fight team says, myself. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, representing Team Azteca, Jack Goyo. So he says himself, but it looks like Carlos from Bakersfield Combat will be working Steven Avalez's corner. So he's got a good coach in his corner. Doctor is still not back. So we're gonna wait on the doctor. I can see over under the 5150 banner. That is Thomas Fallon, well-known pro fighter who has his own team out in Sacramento, California for a long time. He was one of the coaches at Uriah Faber's Ultimate Fitness, opened his own gym. My, one of my best friends in the world, Eric Smith, his son just turned six, and he's training with Thomas Fallon in the Little Ninjas program over there, whatever they want to call it, with all the little kids. So he's learning how to fight MMA early. And here's the doctor, and it's time to fight. Blue tape around the pads, and the wrists belong to Avalez. Jack Goyo with the red, and right away, Avalez gave up his back, throwing a spinning back kick, and Goyo capitalizes. And those are gonna be back of the head. And what's gonna happen right now is, is Jack Goyo just threw several illegal shots to the back of the head. And that was about seven or eight unanswered illegal shots to the back of the head. Randy Silva jumped in. And now, Avalez absolutely took a ton of illegal damage to the back of the head. Goyo saying the side of the head, but those were absolutely to the back of the head. And now Avalez is going to have some time to regroup. Now what happened was Avalez came out, tried to throw a spinning back kick, missed and what happened was Goyo had been coming in so fast that by the time Avalez spun around Goyo was already on his back and that was a lot of unanswered shots now let's go back to Steve Mazzagatti when he refereed the first fight between Frank and Brock Lesnar and that amount of shots got Brock Lesnar disqualified big shots to the body Big shots from Jack Goyo. Avalez fights back. Does a good job here. Getting half guard at least. Goyo is a monster. Avalez doing what he can here. He needs to weather this early storm of Jack Goyo. Goyo on top. Some amazing advice from the crowd. Get him in the ribs. Goyo lands more shots. Avalez doing his best here to keep it in half guard at least. Goyo doing his best to land big shots. He's almost got him crucifixed here. And Avalez taking some heavy blows. And Goyo wants Randy Silva to stop it, but Avalez doing a good job here. He's still defending himself. And, and Randy Silva's gonna stop this fight, unfortunately. Avalez did everything he could Jack Goyo was just refusing to slow down. Just refusing to slow down. Doctor's gonna come take a look at Steven Avalez. As we take a look at this replay, Goyo was on top.
And this is the finish here. Goyo even looked up at Randy and said, look, man, he's just taking these shots. And Randy Silva said, had seen enough. And he steps in to stop it. Let's get the official decision from our referee or from our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for these two fighters. And your winner at one minute and 55 seconds in the first round by stoppage, Jack Goyle. So Jack Goyo picks up the victory. He'll move to one and one, avenging his loss to Alexander Castillo in March of this year. 51-50 fight night 12, where fighters become pro.